So it's been a bit since I've talked about the Seven Deadly Sins, aka the Natsuno Taizai. Just been following things, seeing how it's been going and whatnot. I've been a little bit of a slump, a little bit of a setup here and there. And this week's chapter, I was like, all right, it's time once again for me to give some thoughts on this manga. So for starters, now we got the Sins. The Sins, the three of them have invaded and whatnot. They're trying to get Elizabeth back because, you know, they it's kind of like a rescue arc, so to speak, to a certain degree, because there are politics going involved. There's a lot of things as well in it, but it's sort of somewhat a rescue arc because they're trying to get Elizabeth back. But, oh my gosh, between last week's chapter and this week's chapter, my heart goes out to Diane, this fucking giant warrior soldier. Like, she took it through the chest, through her breasts, and through her leg in this chapter. Like, poor fucking thing. It, the brutality of the Holy Knights is real, people. And I want to quickly talk about a character that was introduced in some of the previous chapters. Arthur, obviously King Arthur. He removed the sword and whatnot. And immediately, for some reason, it always gets me thinking whenever I hear King Arthur now of Saber from Fate Stay Night, Fate Zero. I mean, if you know about that story, then you know the greatness of King Arthur. So... I have some high expectations for King Arthur. We've seen already a little bit, even though King Arthur got blasted back, he did manage to injure, I believe it's Hendrickson that he's fighting, while he got blasted back, so that already kind of shows a little bit of what King Arthur's all about, and from what I can tell, King Arthur is going to seemingly be a good guy, maybe he's working for his own agenda or whatnot, but I'm, I'm assuming that King Arthur is going to be a good guy, and I'm just excited to see the character, because if this character is anything like Saber from Fate Stay Night, we might have a beast here. But these chapters also show just how fucked up Helbrum is. He does not care about anything. Like, is he a demon himself or something? Like, well, he obviously ain't because he was curious about the nature of Meliodas' biology. Like, you know, is he half human, half demon? What's up with that? But he totally is, he embodies everything that a demon embodies except that he's a human. And that's probably why he wants demons to come over here. Maybe he wants to be surrounded by people that remind him of himself because he doesn't care how many people have to die that he has to frame the sins for everything that's going on. Oh yeah, it's them, those fuckers right there. And even the all the holy knights, it kind of shows their resolve and, and what type of people they are, that they've been looking at him like, bro, you're willing to do all this to them? Like, the, at the end of the day, we're supposed to be the good guys, but why are you trying to paint them so much to be the villains just so that we could be the good guys? And it's just like, there got to be more to it other than that he wants to be the hero, unless he has a really bad hero complex and he'll do anything to, you know, maintain being the hero or whatnot. So there's right there as well, like, just Helbrum, dirty motherfucker. We've already seen how bad he is, but it just keeps on piling up and piling up what type of villain this motherfucker is. And from the moment that Diane saved Zeal, from the moment I saw Gira yelling Zeal, I already knew, okay, by the end of this chapter or by next week's chapter that she was gonna flip. Because if you remember, she already had that in place of her head when she saw her father and she realized that that was her father that was killed and what the knights did to her father. So she's already gonna have that in her head. Like, Yo, these people are responsible for turning my father into a monster and whatnot. But then Diane saving her brother just made her fuck it. I, I gotta, I gotta pick a side that is fighting for, you know, what's right and the justice. And right now is definitely not the knights. The knights is truly the villains. Meanwhile, the seven deadly sins, well, the, the, the sins that we have right now are the good guys. And Hauser, I could totally see him flipping as well because from when he met Diane back then and then now, like seeing her getting all fucked up, he didn't even want to fight against her. He flipped at the end of the chapter and with good cause because at the end of the day, the knights are just, you know, some creepy motherfuckers. So um, the latest chapters I've been noticing has been focusing a lot on the holy knights and it's like you got a little bit of the sins, you got a little bit of the seven deadly sins, but then you got the knights a lot more and it's been kind of giving you a little bit more just how dark they are and I think that the manga is trying to build up just how dark of a group they are but this latest chapter i was just like god damn like between last week's bullet through the chest well it was a blast but we'll call it a bullet through the chest and then through her leg diane falling all over the place fucking everything up getting just destroyed and i'm a little bit disappointed that her blast didn't because if i'm correct hellbrum teleported away from her blast so her blast didn't get him which then again hellbrum just seems like this plot no jutsu motherfucker like every time there's always oh i managed to escape in the nick of time but to be fair he is throwing people away at, at the cost of people are you know getting killed by impact and whatnot so i guess that that's really the goal of the manga as of right now we got the invasion going on we got the rescue elizabeth arc so to speak going on but in the forefront right now but what we've been getting is basically building up how fucked up the holy knights is and who's gonna switch but at the end of the day gira and hauser how much can they really do because first of all we know gira is one of the rookies and gira the rookies aren't really Really that strong or whatnot compared to the older Holy Knight. So Gira can only do so much. So let's keep it real here. And Hauser, while he can do a lot, 
he's not like one of them up uh, up the ranks ones. So it's gonna have to be that Meliodas and the crew show up to help them to save Diane and just you know save Gira and them because at the end of the day, these holy knights they're the older generation. So Gira ain't gonna be much of a match. And you just got Hauser and like a half holy knight versus five of them. It ain't going down. Overall, th this whole arc so far, past five or six chapters or so, has just been like a lot of build up. And the past two chapters have just been absolute mayhem and chaos, building up the holy knights, how evil they are. And it's, it's just been crazy. The, the, the National Taizai manga had a little bit of a slump, a little bit of build up. But as of late, the past few chapters has gotten crazy again. And I'm just like, God damn, if Diane dies in this arc, I'm going to be sad as a motherfucker. But with Taizai, you never know. It's not one to show too much plot armor for the main character. So it's a possibility. But we just got to wait and see. As of right now, I'm just like, this has been very good shit. Like, all the chapters combined that I've been reading thus far, I would give it like a 7.5 to an 8. Been a little bit of dialogue heavy for a while, but with Ty's eye, you never know what the fuck's gonna happen. Let me know what you guys think first of all. Diane, do you think she's gonna die now? Like, I, I don't want to believe it, and I, it's a big possibility she won't because at the end of the day, Seven Deadly Sins, but you never fucking know, and it's just like, if she does die, it's going to be a sad one, or if something happens to one of the sins because, you know, they got to rescue Elizabeth, who knows what they're doing to her at the moment, and how much of a match do you think Gira and Hauser are going to be versus the Holy Knights, because Gira, I mean, she's not the strongest compared to the older Holy Knights, so I think that they're going to get their asses kicked, and Meliodas and them are going to have to come in and help them out, because I just don't see it. Helbrum, uh, fucking Dreyfus, like, I don't, I don't know. But that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for Diane because she took such a fucking ass whipping. But to be fair, one Seven Deadly Sin versus like all these holy knights. She had no chance anyway. I'm for Neverworld. And as always, people, have an awesome day.